Hello everyone, this is Renan from developersoapbox.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Visual Studio Code to develop Java applications. If you're not familiar with Visual Studio Code, it's a lightweight editor developed by Microsoft and with the proper plugins, it's really awesome for smaller uh, Java projects. It does have some features like IntelliSense and debugging and it's definitely not as bloated as something like uh, Eclipse or even IntelliJ. So the first thing you want to do is obviously download and install uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so if you just go to code.visualstudio.com slash download, go ahead and select the right version for your operating system and install. Okay, so once you have Visual Studio Code installed, go ahead and open it. And if you go down here to extensions, go ahead and click that and right here on the extensions search bar go ahead and type in Java and what we're gonna do is install two plugins the Red Hat um, language support for Java and a debugger for Java right so but instead of having to download and install these separately Microsoft actually bundled them both within this Java extension pack so as you can see, this is by Microsoft. So go ahead and install that. And this should just take a few seconds. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and click reload to reload the editor with the extensions. And as you can see, they're both now installed. So one requirement that we do have for using these extensions is that obviously you do need a JDK installed and uh, Visual Studio Code does need a way to find it, th that installation, right? That your Java home, essentially. So um, if you either have Java underscore home or JDK underscore home um, environment variable already set up, or if you simply have Java within your execution path, you, you should be fine, right? Meaning, I mean, if I open a terminal window and I type in Java C minus version, it recognizes that I have it installed, right? So if you're not really sure if you have those set up or you don't know how to set those up, one alternative you have is setting up uh, within Visual Studio Code itself, telling it where your Java home is. And the way you do that is simply by going to File, Preferences, Settings, and then as you can see, here I have my user settings and I can simply override any of the default settings for the editor. So the name of the variable is simply java.home and this is essentially JSON, right? So I would simply put in the path to my Java home and let me just fix the quotes. And save and that's it. So now you don't have to worry about setting your Java home outside the editor. It, like I said, if you don't know how to do that uh, or you just want an easy way to change uh, JDKs if you're using different versions. So now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and create a quick test file just to show some of the functionality. Go ahead and do file and new file. And I'm just going to do control S to save this file. Um, I'll go ahead and save it in my documents, that's fine. And I'll call it test.java. Okay, so I'm just going to do public class test. Just close that. Okay, so now if I start typing main, for example, you can see that I immediately get some IntelliSense, not only IntelliSense, but it also has some uh, templates as well. Right, so if I select that one, the main template, as you can see, it generates the main method for me. Uh, and if I start typing system, as you can see, IntelliSense is there. How the print test. Okay, there we go. So now to actually compile and execute, what I'm going to do is go to view and integrated terminal. And if I go to the path of this file, which is in my documents, I can just 
<coughs> do any commands from this integrated terminal, which is pretty pretty convenient. And then just run it. And there we go. So to actually show you how the debugger works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my hard code string with a variable so I can actually set a breakpoint. So go ahead and replace this with X. Save. And just like other IDEs, what you can do is just come here to the left margin. And as you can see, the little red icon uh, appears. Just go ahead and click that to set your breakpoint. So as you can see now, I have a breakpoint at line 5. So after that, come here to debug, click that, and then click on debug. Select your environment, which is Java in this case. And then your actual main class, which that's correct. So I'll go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it stopped at my breakpoint. Not only that, if I come here to the debug section, you can see any variables I may have. So that is correct. X does have the value of test. Just like other uh, IDEs, you have your usual step over, step into, uh, step out of, and proceed, and so on. And that's it. That's the basics of using Visual Studio Code for Java development. It really is an awesome little editor for smaller projects, uh, super lightweight, and has um, a lot of the essential features that you need out of a editor. So um, if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button. Um, if you'd like to be notified as soon as I create new content, go ahead and hit that su subscribe button. Thank you very much.